Hi, I'm Jennifer Cody and we are going to make some red lentil soup today. It's easy, it's fast, it's healthy, and it tastes good. So we've got paprika. It is, this is a tablespoon of paprika, half tablespoon of curry powder, and just a little eighth of a teaspoon of the cayenne. So the red lentils, they're called red lentils. By the time you cook them, they get very pale, which is actually why we're adding paprika. That's what gives the red lentils the color. Otherwise, the soup would be more like yellow lentil soup. It's beautiful that they've got the hull off of them, so they cook really fast. That makes them very handy. Um, they're protein food, uh, low fat, it's all good, but they need a little paprika. Some people use tomato paste. That gives it color too, but the red lentils, not so much color by themselves. We're also going to add some coconut. There's a few different products you can use. Um, I love using something that's a coconut cream concentrate. Just contact me if you want to know more about that. The uh, specialty stores sell coconut oil. That This one is organic and unrefined, cold pressed has a lot of flavor. That's going to be what kind of gives this soup its richness and its flavor. If you want, you can just use a can of coconut milk and that works too. It usually has additives, so I don't use it. But this is really hard. So if you keep it in your refrigerator, it's going to be really kind of hard for you to use. And so you need to, a solution. This is very handy to use. When I'm going to add this to a soup, I've got it all chopped up. What I do is I soften the jar, which is solidified. Um, soften it in a double boiler of hot water. Then I pour it into a pan, let it get a little firm again, and slice it up into little pieces. Put the pieces back in the jar, and then it's very usable. So that's what we're going to use today. Okay, we will start cooking the lentils. This is pretty cool because by the time the lentils have started cooking, I'm done cutting up the red sweet potato. And I put that in here. By the time that is heated up, I've got my spices and my red peppers cooked and the soup is done. So we'll put this on the stove. I'm going to add boiling water to it. I actually boiled the water already. We're going to put two quarts in here. Really nice to start with hot water. Okay, so we've got our pound of uh, red lentils. I brought some water to a boil. We're going to add about two quarts of boiling water to this. I've turned on the stove. We are going to put the lid on this. And this is my pressure cooker. I love it. Uh, Ask me about that too if you want. Uh, you can use a regular pot, but this keeps all of the flavors in. It keeps all of the heat in. I'm just going to leave it on for now while I prepare the red, the sweet potato. Okay, so while those lentils are coming up to a boil, we will get a sweet potato ready to go. This is almost one pound of potato. This is one big sweet potato. And if you love sweet potato, put a lot of it in there. Or put less if you don't. But we will dice this after we peel it. And put it in there right along with the red lentils. And these are, these are kind of tough to cut through, but... We will, we will dice them up and put them in the pot. We'll bring it up to a boil again. By that time, we probably can turn the pan off and just let them finish while we're getting our, our red pepper and green pepper done. Okay, we are going to bring the sweet potatoes over to the stove. Okay, so we are going to put the sweet potatoes into the pot along with the red lentils. This got up to 
pressure. I'm gonna go and let some of that pressure off. Now these red lentils can stick because they do cook so fast. If you have the burner on, I'm gonna turn it back on, um, they might stick at the bottom. So you give them a stir every five minutes or so. We're going to put the pressure back on. It's gonna keep the heat in for this. If it's your regular pot, just let it keep simmering for 20 minutes or so. It'll be done. Okay, so we will dice some red and green pepper. What we're gonna do is grill these real quick, not for a long time, and it's mostly to give the soup color. They don't have to cook in with the soup, just kind of add them after the rest is done. Okay, we've got our peppers diced, and now we are going to grill them real quick in a hot pan. Okay, this pan is hot, which is nice. The things cook better when the pan is already hot. They stick less. I'll add a splash of water. Splash of water, a splash of olive oil, stir it around a little. And now, you know, I can just put the lid on, turn this off, and they will finish cooking and then we'll just add all these ingredients together. Okay, so just a couple of minutes later, the green pepper is still bright. These are cooked enough and actually the, the soup is, the lentil soup is cooked enough too. We're gonna add all these ingredients together. Less than 20 minutes, it seemed to me. Okay, so we will take the red peppers this is all going to end up in the pot, but I like to mix the spices in with something first besides the, uh, the big pot of soup because things like paprika and curry can lump up. We don't want these to lump if they were just dumped right into the soup. So, got our tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of curry and a little cayenne for zip and we'll mix this in this is my uh, coconut cream concentrate it's similar to the coconut oil in that it's it's chunky this is going to blend into the soup easier now I think our soup is about ready now look how pale that is it doesn't look that exciting but once we add the color to it, it's going to look better. This is going to help. Uh, we'll just mix the spices into this a little bit. It's going to melt that coconut cream into the whole thing. And if you noticed, I didn't add salt yet. And I think it's really great if you can add the salt last because the longer the food cooks with salt, the more everything absorbs the salt, and you might not even taste all the salt, and, uh, and yet you would be consuming a bunch of sodium. So we'll add, if we were gonna serve this right away, we could add a, a half a tablespoon of salt to this whole pot, or you can just uh, leave the salt out and add it when you're serving it. And now it's much more colorful. So we've just made a red lentil soup probably in less than 20 minutes. It's healthy like I said. It's beautiful and it tastes good. Mmm.